Okay, we're back and we are starting with our repos view. Uh, our repos list. So what I have done essentially is I have assembled a very small bit of work. I created a new package under our activities package. That should have been deleted. Anyway, I haven't cleaned up all the code 100% because I'm not very smart. Anyway, let's go into our model and actually erase. This is all irrelevant anyway. This is all going to be deleted one way or the other. And then our presenter will delete this as well. Okay, so now that I've actually cleaned up things correctly and imported the generated dagger component, everything's fine. And this should be repos module. Okay, so essentially all I did was create a repos. Uh, inside of this, in our MVP, you'll notice something different from our home. Because we have multiple view objects, because we have the view and we've got our list view and the adapter associated with that, I've grouped them into a view package. And then you can see our repos view, our list item and our adapter. So let's very quickly set up our view. We have our toolbar and our list view, usual stuff. So let's say list view dot set. Actually, let's make an adapter first. So we're going to say private final repos adapter, repos adapter equals new repos, ad repos adapter. Great stuff. And then we're just going to say set adapter this. I'm not using recycler view because I am not bothered. So let's hook up our data. So we have a swap method on this I created. Uh, the swap method, by the way, just clears out the list that's in here, uh, copies the new data into that list and or, uh, points to the data in this list and then it tells it that it changed. You'll notice that we have the standard present or standard um, adapter or we try the size, the IDs, all that good stuff. And in here, you'll notice that my view is actually its own compound view as well. You actually can tell I quite like compound views. So because the list item is a compound view, it is its own view holder. So we are using view holder pattern just in a bit of a roundabout way. Anyway, let's hook this up to our model. So in our model, actually we'll go to the activity first. So what we want to do is we want to start this activity uh, with the data. So we want to make it easy to start this activity with the correct list of data. We want to package that data into our intent and then inside our presenter, which because this is data coming in from somewhere, it needs to come through the model, how to unpackage that in the model and get it into the presenter and then into the view. So let's do it. So we're going to create a public method. Uh, public static boy, now it's going to be start and then we're going to require a context because that's what you need and a list of github repos repo list then we're going to say uh, con uh, intent you know oops, that's the wrong thing intent intent equals new intent context repos activity dot class and then we just need to say intent dash put extra we're gonna need a public static final string so we're gonna say public static final string psfs hit enter uh, intent date uh, repos equals that so I'll just say repo list because it's unique to this intent. So I'll put extra new array list because of the nonsense of dagger, and there we go. And then we need to say context dot start activity intent. So that will start this automatically. Great stuff. So now let's talk to go into our model. So we're going to go to our dagger module into model and we're going to access this so we don't actually need this github network anymore all we need to do is access the data in the model so that's easy you just say public um, list of github repo since we try to guarantee that it exists right intent 
I'll just call it that, GitHub repo's intent. And all we need to do is return activity.getIntent to get the intent that started it, dot get parcelable array list extra. Uh, AC activity dot oh, repos activity intent data repos. That's it. You can actually just query this off an activity instance, and that's all it takes. So now in our presenter, we're going to create a new method in here called private uh, void set intent data. Now we don't even need our Java for this because why would we? Uh, so we just say view dot set data model dot get the intent data and then we just call this in our own create method and hit run and that should do the trick so if we hit look up user oh we never connected it all up because we're stupid so let's very quickly move in here and I'll actually just drag this over so you can see it a bit better inside our uh, home model so we need to start our new activity so this is actually done from the home model so we say like public uh, void because this is how you interact with the system the presenter never wants to talk to the activity it goes through the model and uh, model is a really bad term so i don't know but you could call it interactor i think that's uh, where i work we sometimes call it interactor most of the time uh, because a lot of this uh, concepts came from the Viper, adapting uh, Viper to Android and making it non-terrible. So does that. So anyway, we want to say activity that start. Oh, no, we want to say um, repos activity dot start activity and then the repo list that we pass in. And then from our presenter, if we go back to our home view, home presenter, we want to basically say instead of after each subscribe, you want to say uh, model dot start that uh, with our repos list. So now let's hit run and see what happens. So that we've connected up our model to start it, it should all work. I have registered this in the manifest. I know I forgot to do that in tutorials before. So let's see what happens. Okay, let's bring up this. And it loads up a list of very nice things. Unfortunately, for some reason, there's a tool, there's a duplicate toolbar here. Um, that's because in the theme, I haven't turned off the stock toolbar to use the one within the view. But as you can see, it works very nice. So it's putting in our descriptions according to our view. Our view is just a basic linear layout. And that's it, that's starting a new activity directly from the, uh, uh, through this pattern. Ta da very straightforward very simple and easy to do so that's that now the next video we're going to get into something a bit more complicated uh, I want to basically make a small video on how this works with multi-pane because multi-pane is a very cool thing but this is very tricky to work with multi-pane and it's actually quite complicated. That video will be coming down the line at some point. I make no promises. But anyway, that's it. That's the basic overview of Oryx MVP. All this code is on GitHub, guys. If you want to see it, um, it should be tagged with the end of each video. So you can go to like video three end. I might actually edit those tags to make them more sensible. But if you go to like, you know, the end of each video you can figure out at what point and you can see the commit so you can follow along much easier and clone out the repo all the code is there knock yourselves out and that's it guys till next time